Governor Martin Wambora got his second marching orders from the Senate after he failed to show up for the hearing. The Senate found Wambora guilty of violating procurement and public finance management laws and gross violation of the Constitution. And as our senior political reporter Sam Ogina explains, Wambora will now not be able to hold any public office for at least 10 years. Thirty-five senators ejected the beleaguered Embu governor from office for the second time after the courts overturned his early impeachment in February. The slight reprieve might now turn to be a costly affair in the long run for Wambora. The governor may be gone for two successive elections. Only Baringo Senator Gideon Moy rejected sending Wambora parking. What we are going to do and how we are going to vote is going to affect Governor Wambora. Be knowing that once we impeach him for ten years. He cannot hold a public office at all, including even a cattle dip chairman or <laughs> member, nothing. When we speak, the people of Kenya have spoken. And when the people of Kenya speak, Mr. Speaker, the big ones, like Governor Ombar, have spoken. We are dealing with a different matter and with a committee that was established by this house. Mr. So Speaker, it's understandable that if you are facing the situation that the Governor Wambora was facing, you would definitely engage in what we call forum shopping. The governor is accused of corruption and violation of the constitution. Wambora is indicted of purchasing maize seeds that did not germinate contrary to the type requested. He also faced the charge of undertaking the facelift of Embu Stadium unilaterally without involving the requisite departments and acquiring a personal vehicle using public funds. The moment you are caught, Mr. Speaker, you must face the music. That we have to get it right. That we have to set the standards of devolution to be high. Since this is the first governor to be impeached twice, and the first governor to walk away from his fate, we might as well help him to walk away from his seat because he doesn't deserve to be a governor of any county in this republic. Wambora decried facing the same special committee of the Senate that had impeached him, claiming it was hell-bent on returning the same verdict. But the High Court refused to shield the embattled governor from facing his fate. It is not the magnitude, the amount uh, we are dealing with. It's about whether that principle has been breached, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, however small it is. Despite abstaining from the vote that did Wambora in, Embu Senator Leni Kivuti, who has tried to reconcile the governor with his constituents, admitted the animosity was beyond reconciliation and impeachment was inevitable the leader denying financing the ejection drive. If my friend makes a mistake, if he is accused of doing wrongdoing, if he is given the chance to come and defend himself and he chooses not to, what else do I have to do? It is Kiretu Murungi and the Senator Reni Kibuti who have masterminded and engineered the impeachment of Governor Wambora because he defected from our party. Mr. Speaker, sir, nothing could be far from the truth. The Senate insulated MCAs from campaigns to enhance the impeachment threshold. Senators arguing MCAs were acting within their purview. We must continue disciplining the executive, whether at the national level or at the county level, so that the executive can be the servants of the people of Kenya and not the rulers of the people of Kenya. It is a double setback for the besieged governor after the High Court declined to stop his impeachment. Samogina Ketian.